Yeah, beautiful. Look at this, man. <laughs> hey, we're the Skints, and we are a band from London. We are in sunny Malta, having a wicked time. We just did sound check, and we're going to play alternative sessions tonight. We kind of play Jamaican music, over all kinds of Jamaican music from the last 50 years, but in a London style. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun doing so. You know, starting from the Scatterlights all the way through Lee Perry and Bob Marley, the Wailers, and then like root stuff like the Abyssinians and Johnny Clark, Michael Prophet. Um, uh, Augustus Pablo, King yeah, Tubby. Yeah, there's so, yeah. so many, there's so many. Uh, and even up to like, you know, like newer stuff as well. There's a little movement that we're kind of involved in, which is based around the art, the man known as Prince Fatty, where there's, you know, ourselves and Holly Cook and obviously the Prince Fatty sound system and Horseman. There's a nice little like live music movement there, but the UK reggae scene is mostly made up of like sound systems and selectors. So, as far as bands go, it's kind of few and far between, but there's some good stuff out there, like The Drop, who we're taking out on our tour in October. Uh, yeah, and there's some good singers out there too who have been around for a long time, so. The dance hall thing, uh, I kind of, me personally, I'm more of a fan of like the older dance hall stuff. Like there's a bit more, like the very early digital stuff, like, um, you know, like that original like sound clash culture like from like, you know, the mid eighties into the early nineties, I find a lot of the dancehall now isn't really reggae. It's kind of more like this very like tinny, almost like auto tune R and B, but not really like Euro, even like Euro pop sounding stuff that isn't really like, you know, does it's not really dancehall culture. Okay, fine, like the guys are still you know, it's still got like the DJ vocal style, but it all sounds like T-Pain, do you know what I mean? So I think a lot of the stuff that's actually coming from Jamaica is kind of a bit, it doesn't really have much substance and it's just just pure, you know, they're not really talking about anything and it's all just very slack. But um, I mean, there is, you know, we take influence with the, for the dancehall side, it's definitely more like the older stuff. Um, I mean, there's some really good like European uh, sort of DJ vocalists out there uh, that we take influence from but I mean a lot of like w what you might consider the dancehall stuff is probably from like the UK like grime scene and stuff as well and just like the kind of UK uh, just rap stuff in general which is obviously always taken uh, like cultural influence from like sound dancehall sound clash culture uh, yeah but obviously there is still some good stuff out there, but I think like all, all, all the new stuff that I hear from Jamaica at the moment is just a bit crap. He's been working with us for a little while. We've known him over the years uh, through other bands that he's worked with. Um, and he's, you know, he's a good friend of ours too, you know, and he's been doing it with us for a little while, like I say. Uh, and, you know, he just, he really suits the sound of the music that we make. And we're all, we're all happy with them. So. Yeah. The, 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 live, the live show has just been better since we've been rolling with our own soundboy in general, you know. Somebody who knows the songs and whatever, yeah. We hope you enjoy the show, man. Thank you. Cheers.